Sometimes new unlocks are like a shock to your system. One of the biggest shocks in the game is when you unlock industrial manufacturing in tier five. I remember looking at the heavy modular frame recipe and the computer recipes and thinking, I'm gonna be working on feeding this one machine for the rest of my life. Then I actually started to work on feeding the belts into the machine and it was a mess. It was so hard for me to figure out how to do it without clipping or taking up like a massive amount of space. So this video is for all you guys that were like me, overwhelmed with trying to feed four inputs on one machine and avoid the dreaded spaghetti. I'm gonna show you two design ideas today. A simple one that is good for like baby's first manufacturer and another design with a logistics floor that I'm currently putting in place as part of my fused modular frames factory. So our first design, we're just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna make a conveyor bus and then use splitters and lifts to bring those down to our machine. So we first we need to bring our inputs up and get that conveyor bus started. You can bring a conveyor bus from anywhere in. You probably will already have it, but I'm gonna make one here out of these four inputs. So. So we'll make our conveyor bus right here. Get out your stackable conveyor poles and put them in the center of this block. Two, three, four high for the four inputs for our manufacturers. Get out your lift. And we'll bring this up. First one, two notches to line up with the first conveyor pole. One, two, three, four for the second one. One, two, three, four, five, six for the third one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the last one. And just bring your belt over here to the proper level. Okay. Now we have a conveyor bus for high. Before we bring our bus over to our manufacturer, I want to talk a little bit about placement of your manufacturer. It helps a little bit. You can get your belts a little bit closer if you raise your manufacturer off the ground a little bit. So I just have four two meter foundations here, which lifts the manufacturer up a little bit, which allows us to get our conveyor bus a little bit closer to it to feed everything in. So let's make another stack of stackable conveyor poles right here on the edge. One, two, three, four. We'll make one on this end as well. Same thing in line. One, two, four. The trick here is to get your splitter out. And if you didn't know, you can snap splitters directly to existing belts. And if you hit control, it will line the splitter up with the input. So let's put our splitters in. First come here, hit control. It will line up with the nearest one. Go down one level, control, down another level, control, down the bottom level, control. So now we have our splitters in. We can hook up this top one with a lift. Bring it down one, two notches, All right? And then it's a little bit far away, so we have to put another little uh, conveyor belt in there. Bring this one with a lift too. You don't need to move it at all. It'll be the right height. Put that little belt in. And then we'll hook our belt in here like this and hook our belt straight across here. So voila, there you go. A simple design to feed your four inputs. Make a bus, put stackable conveyor poles on the end of each manufacturer, put a splitter in line with each input on the existing belt, put two lifts in the first inputs and regular belts into the second two and make sure your manufacturer is raised up two meters off the ground. That makes it just a little bit easier. Okay, let's move on to a more complex design. If you like what you're seeing here so far, hit that like button and consider subscribing. I have a lot of good stuff in the hopper coming up and you wanna make sure that you can catch it right away. Now let's turn to the Wiley Veterans way to feed manufacturers with logistic floor, floor holes, and lifts. Here's where we're gonna build our next design, which is the actual build from my 7.2 fused modular frames per minute factory. We're going to use floor holes and a logistics floor to make a nice 
clean design. So I have these same four floor hole inputs here that go into our manufacturer. And I've made this intermediate sandwich floor six meters high. So one one meter wall, a four meter glass wall, and another one meter high wall. This gives us plenty of room to put in our floor like this and still run our belts at the right height to get into our manufacturer. So let's get our floor holes in. Then we'll get our lifts in. So now we have our lifts in on the top level and now we need to get our lifts in on the bottom level. And there's one little trick that allows us to use a sandwich floor this height instead of being an extremely tall intermediate logistics floor. And that is going to be alternating the directions with which these lifts face. So we're going to have this one face this way and go all the way down to the bottom level. This one face the other direction all the way to the bottom level. This one face the other direction as well, but stay there. And then this one face this, oops. This one face this direction towards me as well in that height. And we'll do the same thing for each machine. Now that we have our lifts in in this particular orientation, you can see why we've done that. So first let's do this top row of lifts and we'll use a stackable conveyor pole for this. And so we want this to line up here and we'll put it in the middle of this block. We want one here that goes into that lift here. And we'll go back to that will make a right angle. And then we want this to make a right angle. So we'll put this here like this. We'll put another conveyor belt about halfway here. And then another one right before this last input and then go back to so we get 90 degree angle turn into that lift. Like that. So then we'll just run a belt all the way back. And we'll run another belt right here on ground level, right underneath these stackable conveyor pole. I'm going to just put splitters in, hit control, and it will line up. Now that side of the conveyor lifts is all done, and now we just need to do the other side, and then we'll be done. Okay, so now we have our logistics floor done. You can see with the six meter height of your logistics floor is just high enough to get these splitters underneath your floor. So if you do four, it's gonna clip through the floor. So if you do one meter wall, one glass wall, another one meter wall, and it's the perfect height for two stackable conveyor poles plus splitters to fit underneath the floor. Here's a great trick for hiding the wires for your power when you have a logistics floor like this. So the six meter height is also good for having the power pole just peek out through the floor a little bit here. And if you put it right underneath the power input of the machine, you can get a pretty cool hidden power line look. So get out a power pole of whatever mark you feel like. If you put it in the right spot like this, you can see the top of the power pole peek out like this. If you have your floor one meter high, it'll be completely hidden, but that's okay. Put your, hook up your power line to the input and then just go below. 
hook it up like this to the pole. And then you can see the cable coming out right here to the input of the power. Of course, you can move it a little bit better, but this is a good spot for it. It looks like it's part of the machine. So we'll do that at each of these machines. Pretty nice little trick. Then you just pair that with a wall outlet here on the roof of their logistics floor. And then you can string together these wall outlets to keep the power in between the poles underneath like this. And then if you look out here, you can't really see the cables coming from below to that machine. Great way to hide your power. Helps you do, helps you with designs like the one I'm gonna show you here where you have each machine completely isolated from each other and you don't have to clip wires through anything. It's completely hidden as you see here. The only thing you see is that wire going down. When you hide your belts in a logistics floor and feed your manufacturers through floor holes and conveyor lifts, you have way more options in terms of design. You don't have to work around all the belts and you can do this kind of thing like I did here, like a self-contained aquarium around each manufacturer. So I have this all set up, so let's do my favorite part, hook up the power and see what it looks like with the lights on and the, and the machine working. And voila, three clean manufacturers, no belt showing. Some cool lights, a little aquarium. So that's it for our video today. Two designs on how to feed a manufacturer. Hope this video will help you keep your factories organized gives you a couple new design ideas when building factories with manufacturers. If you like this video today, drop me a like, helps me get more eyes on my videos. If you want to see more from me, subscribe to my channel. I have some more videos coming out soon. So thanks for joining me today. Stay stoked out there.